Hey Taurus, welcome back. Thank you for tuning into my channel. This is going to be a reading for you entitled The Next 48 and we're going to have a look at what's coming up in these next 48 hours. These next couple of days can be in relation to anything so whatever's coming up I'm going to relay it back in the cards. Um, before I begin, if you would like to subscribe to the channel, that would be very, very amazing. And I will love you forever. Um, also, if you would like to become a channel member, you can do so with the join button on my homepage. Um, and that's going to give you access to bonus readings and extended readings and all those wonderful things. So um, feel free to sign up. Otherwise, I wanted to use that. Um, let's see what's coming up for you. Next 48. Okay, communication is off. Could be a disconnection with a Gemini happening here. Um, but I feel like someone doesn't want to talk. Okay, communication is not going to be a strong point. Someone just wants to be alone. Okay, someone wants to walk away. Um, or you're going to notice some distancing happening here. And the more you're going to notice that, the more it's going to potentially make you panic. Don't panic just yet, Taurus. Let's figure out what's going on here. I wouldn't recommend you retreat to yourself either. That's going to create some real friction. So someone obviously wants your attention by backing away. And they'll get it because they're going to remove their attention and then yours is going to perk up. Okay. What's going on? There's an air sign here that's just really acting out. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, I'm seeing I'm seeing some pain. Ten of Swords. Someone's hurt by what you did, Taurus. Okay. But you're not really sure what you did. You're coming up as a four of pentacles, like, hey, I was just sitting here. I didn't do anything. Hmm. Okay, there you are. You're you're reversed, so. You're sort of questioning things, going, what's going on? Why is this person doing this? Six of Swords come up twice, both reversed, both not knowing how to move forward in the situation. You're both at a loss for words, I'm seeing. Okay, Three of Cups. They don't even want to be friendly. You know, I'm seeing someone being really cold towards you, and you're not really sure why, what's going on. Okay, a lot of reversals down here. Okay, could be subconscious. I'm getting like the subconscious mind could be this bottom row here, but they match my candle. Um, I feel the need to point that out. Um, okay, look. I think, what do I think? Okay, I feel like someone is wanting to back away or they're wanting to sort of not exit the love situation completely, but they're just trying to put the brakes on things. I do get a sense that someone wants to backtrack and take it slow. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's a conversation that happens these next couple of days where someone wants to take things slow. You're going to see it. Okay. So don't be surprised if you see someone not replying as often, um, taking longer, um, not answering your calls. There's a few missed calls that may happen. It's their way of sort of not leaving the situation, they don't want to leave. I don't think you both want to leave, but you're not sure how to pr uh, press forward because you're going to get a bit, a bit of an ego thing and then you're, okay, you might have some more interest, your interest might pick up, but then you're going to be like, you know, well, what the hell am I doing this for if I'm not getting anything in return? And then your interest is going to drop. What happens then is that I see silent treatment coming from the both of you and then you're both sort of at a loss for words. Okay, that this person I don't think is feeling things right now. Um, I feel like they need to be on their own because there's something that they need to do right now. They may misconstrue what they're saying. The magician doesn't always mean what he say and says what he means. So be careful with what they're telling you. It might not always be true. So don't take it as gospel if they're like, okay, I have to work this weekend. Or, uh, you know, I can't pick up the phone because I'm doing this. Like... There may be some miscommunication that happens here, okay, for the most part. But, and I feel like you may not connect as much as you want to. I think they're hurt. Why are they hurting? Ten of Swords, they feel betrayed or they feel like something is repeating itself. Could be you. No, I don't think so. I think this is more them. Ace of Swords, 
reversed i don't feel like you're i don't feel like you're gonna fight hard enough for this person and they may get offended they may get offended that they're gonna retract their energy and be like all right i'm gonna sit back and watch taurus come to me now and then taurus you don't then they're gonna be like wow taurus has got some nerve right um but they're the ones that did it they're the ones that did it maybe they did it for attention the magician likes attention so i feel like maybe they wanted you to step up and be like what's wrong you know you know, just when people get in that energy, they're like, leave me alone. I don't want to talk to the world. I don't want to be a big baby. And then you're going to be like, well, what's wrong? Like, because that's just your energy. And they're going to expect that from you. And then when they don't get too much of it, there's going to come a time where you're like, well, what am I doing this for? Like, I'm not getting anything from you. You don't want to talk. You're being weird. So I'm going to disconnect right now. Um, so it can be a little bit awkward. I'm not going to lie. The sun is here. I wonder if someone's being selfish. I'm getting the self. So I wonder if someone's like being a bit self-indulgent. And that doesn't surprise me because if they are being self-indulgent, they want your attention. All right. It feeds their ego. The, the sun can be connected to fire energy, which is ego. Some of you might be dealing with fire sign in particular in Aries. And that's the energy they're projecting. Uh, could be a Gemini here. The Gemini was reversed. So there could be a disconnection. And Taurus, you've come up reversed as the Hierophant. So you, you're not feeling like things, things are how they were. Uh, and you're not feeling your, like yourself either. So you might be noticing an internal shift. Or maybe you're just fed up. I guess some of you might like fed up of a situation. Five of Swords, there's a possibility that you could walk away if you really wanted to. There is another option that will present itself, I think. Uh, someone else is going to show you interest. And I see you, some of you thinking, hmm, hmm, what if I was to just flirt a little with that other person? You know? You might indulge in it, in those thoughts, but I don't actually see you doing it. I don't. Two of Wands is reversed. This other person doesn't really compare. And I feel like your person is just wanting attention from you because why else would they do it? Like they obviously just want reassurance that you're there and you're going to pursue them and ask them what's wrong. And, you know, you might even say something like, okay, well, you know, do you want to come over? Do you want to come around? Do you want to talk about it? They might say no. And then you'll be like, okay, well, I'm here. I'm free tonight if you want to come by. Like, I think those words of reassurance can really get this person back on track. And maybe they might have a bit of a couple of funky days. Uh, and then I feel like things may come back on track again. Okay, so it's not permanent is what I'm seeing. I'm going to leave it there, uh, Taurus. Thank you again, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. And also, if you'd like to become a channel member, you can do so via the join button on my homepage. Otherwise, we shall be speaking very soon. So all the best and bye for now.